Hi friends, so this is part 4 of the get content commonly tutorials that um, I've made. Now in this tutorial I'll just create a simple script that will read the contents of the file and it will also display the number of lines present in the file. So let's get started. <coughs> so this is the session. Let me clear the screen. This is from my previous tutorial. Now in here I am. Um, so I have this PowerShell script that I have opened in here. So let me type in uh, my script in here. Now the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that uh, I'm going to be creating a variable called data file. And in this I'm going to be writing the name of the file. So this is C users admin documents and um, the name of the file is this one log underscore file. So this is it. This is the file log underscore file dot txt. So log underscore file dot txt. So let me put this in double quotes. Now, what uh, I would do is that I will create a for each loop. So in here, I'm saying that for each line and then I will type in the name of the variable that holds the file so data file and then I'm going to be writing it to the console so write host line so in here what it means is that uh, for each line so it is saying that for each of the lines in this file data file just read it and write host line just output it on the screen so if you save it and if I say something like uh, PowerShell script and run it what it will do is that it will show me the contents of this file which is just listen here you can see that they are both the same now let's say I want to make a little modification to this and I want to know the number of lines which in this case it's seven so I want to I want it to display the number of lines uh, as well so you can do it at the top or the bottom of the file wherever you want now uh, I, in this case I'm going to be doing it on the top uh, so I will write something like write host and what do you want to type so this is I'm typing the name of the variable that is holding the data and after that I will type in the count function so what it will do is that it will say it will count the number of lines in that file and you're saying uh, total lines present in the file let me do exclamation point so let's save it let's run it so now you can see that it says seven total lines so you can see that it is one two three four five six seven seven files um in the folder now let's see another file in here i have this one is called vowels first it is the name of the some uh, words that I start with the vowel <coughs> now there are five lines so let's the name of the file is vowels underscore file so let me change this let's see it with this file as well so it's vowels and after that it is file with a capital F not sure it is upper is it case and step or not but just it's good if we type in the way it is so let's run it again now you can see that it says five uh, total lines present in the file so it reads all these files and uh, it shows uh, its contents so this is it for this tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions or if there is any particular topic that you want me to cover feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one